Now for some of the shoulder area. This is basic. We're going to grab and pinch. So you're grabbing and pinching the shoulder area. But as we talked about um, for the TMJ problems, we're going to pinch, bring it to 7 or 8, and then bring it to a little to no pain. And then you can hold it there for a while to help it relax. Or you can help stretch it out. Bring it to a, like a 4 or 5, just a little discomfort, and then stretch it out even more for a few seconds. So just a few seconds each time. So again, hold that area and stretch it out for a few seconds. Hold it, stretch it out for a few seconds. But you can use your knuckles in this area too. And when we get into using tools, it might be a little bit easier to use the tools in this region than for the shoulders. But with this, you can even kind of glide up with your fingers. And when you glide up, you can rotate your head too, like this. Or you can have your, like this, use your knuckles. But right here at the sternocleidomastoid, the muscle you can kind of pinch here, don't go beyond that when you're massaging. So again, don't go on the anterior part of the neck to massage yourself then. Okay, so we're just getting in the area. For the pec area, you can use your knuckles. It's pretty easy to use that for that, that area. Or again, you can just compress, bring it to seven or eight, and then bring it to little to no pressure. Some I've heard people call it hold and fold. So you're holding it and then you're folding it. So when you're folding the area, it's contracting it, so you're not having as much stretch with the muscle. So it's relaxing the muscle then is what it's doing. Or again, you can bring it to like a four or five and stretch it out even more. But most people's pecs and shoulders are internally rotated like this. So that's why stretching them out and massaging them. And you can even kind of use your knuckles and kind of slide too if you want for the pec. Or again, just hold that area. Or kind of twist that area too. And some people can go like circular friction. So it's a little bit deeper pressure like this. And for women, for the breast tissue area, try not to put a lot of pressure on the breast tissue. You can go in the upper pec area for, breast, for, for the chest area. But you can even use your heel or your palm to get these areas too. But whenever you perform on one side, make sure you perform on the other side too. Okay, so for the deltoid region, you can also like this, you can kind of squeeze, or you can even slide too. So if you didn't have your shirt off, if you had your shirt off, you could kind of slide even more, or you could use your knuckles in this area. And a lot of petrissage is called, or kneading, some people call it, kind of squeezing. Or you can kind of twist it too. So I'm going to move my arm and twist, move my arm and twist. Or you can move it and twist it the other direction too. Another option, if you had some lotion, you can plant your, your palm and rotate like this. But all my, my fingers are planted and my palm's moving like this. So again, like this it's going. Or you can go like this and go the other direction. So plant your palm and your fingers the other way. But you just got to move your arm around a little bit to get a little bit deeper pressure.